Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is going to be my second look, just look for a minute, in my coloured pop palettes. I'm just doing the small ones. I do have So Jaded, which is my ultimate favourite, and I've got one of the other palettes, but I'm just going to do these ones, I think. Um, so I have already primed my face with the Bobbi Brown Extra Bare Glow, and... I have used Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser in the shade Light 6W. I've used my Body Shop Fresh Nude Serum Concealer in the shade Number 1 Fair and set everything with the Charlotte Tilbury Number 2 Medium Powder. So we have an array. Obviously, the first one I used was the High Tide. A all teal palette that my lovely subscriber and friend Laura sent me from America. So I've got these ones to play with. So I've got Baby Got Peach, Miss Bliss, It's My Pleasure, Just My Luck, and Orange You Glad. And I think I am going to start today with this one. So let me just open it and show you what it looks like. So this is the shades in it. I know a lot of people will be like, why are you getting that one and the peach one? But I'll show you. The tones are completely different. This is the one we're using today. And this is the peach tones. So. And yes, what I'm going to do today is I am going to use... After watching, if you have not seen Smitha De Deepak, I think that's how you say her surname, then you must check her out. The trend that's going about where you use these little sponges and you stripe the colour and then blend them in. Smitha started that trend. But a lot of people are taking the credit for it, which, whatever, that's none of my business. But it is genius, particularly if you're like me and you really struggle with coloured uh, coloured eyeshadows. So I'm going to use that today. And I bought a little bag of them from eBay a while ago when my friend Cheryl at What's For Tea, she actually sent me the article on the trend. And I was just like, right, okay. So I'm going to use that method today. So the colours I am going to go into first of all are Intrusive, which is a matte shade. And we are going to take this and just stripe it there. My eyelids are so dry and sensitive for now that if you see texture, it's not necessarily the shadows. And here we go again with this piggin ring light. It's very dull today, if you can't tell. It's only the back of four. Then I'm going to take, what's that called? Optimist. On the other side of the sponge. And I'm just going to stripe that at the right outer part of the lid there. Then I'm going to go to the other side of the brush and I'm going to take Off Quartz, which is got a slight shimmer to it, but I'm not sure that it would actually show up on the lid. And we're going to put that one there. Then the other side of the sponge and I'm going to go for the shade Vibrant Thinking. And we're going to put that one. Whoa, that's such a nice colour, eh? Like that. These little sponges are actually underrated because they put so much pigment on. Now, we'll place that to the side. And then we're going to take a brush. And we are just going to start blending them together. What she does is sort of two at a time. So like these two here, and then move into the middle ones, and then the last ones there. It is honestly like genius. I love watching her channel. She always has the best tricks 
and hacks. And look at that. Look, can you see for this freaking light? Let's load it down. It's all blended in. It's lovely. Now, you might be thinking, oh, but what if you've lost some of the pigment or that? Then you just go over it and add again. So again, take the blending brush and you're just blending those two. And then this part of the eye. Simple. And then you can go back into the same sponge but I'm not going to because I can't remember what side I put what on. But go back through the colours again. So we'll go back into that one. And we'll place it there. Turn it over again. Back into your next colour. And pop it on there. And then over to the other side of the sponge. It was so clammy today, but it's not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was horrendous. And then turn the sponge over again and go back into your last colour that you chose. And just put that on as well. And then the same method again. Just take your brush and lightly blend them in. And they're just blending gorgeously into each other, so seamlessly. And you're still seeing the lovely gradient as well. It's honestly genius. Like, I literally am obsessed. I would happily do my eyeshadow like this all the time because it's just so easy. And I just love it. It's all blended in together and beautiful. And then if you want to add any more colour to it, you can. So I'm going to go into this shade, which is called Loves It. And I'm just going to pop a bit of that just there with my finger simple okay and then I am going to take this mascara that I have open it's just a brown one and pop this on I do like a brown mascara, actually. I really like the wand of these mascaras because it really gets all of my lashes nicely. I would, I will say that, see this palette? Because it's kind of pastely tones almost, it's really, not patchy, but you know, it looks a bit chalky even on the lid. I'm still gutted that I cannot get back into my Instagram account, Julie's Makeup 3, because I was nearly at 1k followers and I had 300 node posts, but I can't get back into it. So I now have makeup, I forget because I only made it yesterday, what is it, makeup with Julie44, so that's my Instagram and go and follow me on there. But honestly, it's so annoying. So I love just how nice and fresh this makeup looks. I am going to not put any bronzer on today. But I'm going to take Sugar Balm Blush by Benefit. Swirl wee brush in there. 
give it a tap, push it onto the back of my hand so that I don't get too much product, and then sweep it on my face. I swirl again, tap, tap, tap. Give that wee. And I'm just enjoying the way that looks without bronzer and stuff. I think that just looks quite nice for this look. And then for lips, I am going to use one of the glosses. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in PS. And it is so nice. I love it. It looks like it's coloured, but when it's on your lips, you know, it's not really. And that is me finished look, guys. So this is the second look. As I say, it's not as bright as the High Tide palette because obviously... It is more neutrally toned. I'll show you again. The only thing I never use in these palettes is the pressed glitter because I just, I hate pressed glitters. I like loose pigments and shimmer shadows, but I do not like these kind of, they're just no. So this is the palette and the colours that we used were this one here, this one, this one, this bottom one, this one and then I put some of that one actually in the middle of the lid and as I say I used the little sponges to do it it's great and you can do it with brushes as well but I just want to show you with the sponges just how great they are and you're probably thinking but it's so wasteful because you're disposing of them but they didn't they only cost they didn't cost me much so and I don't have any bronzer on, no contour, no highlight. I just wanted to put a little bit of blush on my cheeks so that we've got a more fresh approach. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when next upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.